Welcome to Home Cinema and Tag Channel. In this video, I'd like to continue to create a budget great home cinema setup. Earlier in my videos, the best screen for $25, I've hidden a, a, my purchase of 230 centimeters, which is around 105 inch roll down or roll up uh, curtain, and I hide it under my curtain placement. So you don't see it, but I can really roll down a 105 inch screen right here. So in that video, I've explained it, the quality of it, and compare it with the three meter length professional projector screen, one to one gain probably, and compare the difference between them. So for $25, you cannot go wrong and the quality is quite good, but you have some compromises on the contrast, maybe the uh, backside is a little bit transparent and you need another layer of uh, curtain to cover your backside of the screen for your privacy reasons. But other than that, I have explained all it, all those things in my best screen for $25 video in this channel. So if you haven't watched my earlier videos, like crazy idea of 270 inch electric car cinema where you can pull anywhere just a flat surface and create a professional home cinema with the surround sound wherever you go if you have electric car or hybrid plug-in hybrid car so another thing why you shouldn't be using your curtains instead of a projection screen i have a lot of contents on tutorials but in this video i will be telling you uh, and also i will be drawing later in this video my content about how you can create secret cheap best projection screen and you can have a couple of functions in the same place and nobody will see it let's just say hidden custom best projection screen probably under the cost of 100 dollars if you have the diy skills i will later on draw it in the board on the board so let's just start with an idea i will just improve it on the paper but in this setup, I just created a three meter length projection screen above my TV and I put my TV very close to the wall. I just spoke about this early in my videos, my perfect cinema setup, but you can go way cheaper and way slick and hidden. This is not hidden anyway. So in this setup, we'll be creating a bookshelf, but bookshelf will be like box style. So bookshelf will be coming here and then 90 degree going down so with this side closed bookshelf it's going to be thick bookshelf okay underneath we're going to hide apply our roll up roll down curtain the length is about your choice also depth is about your choice height is about your choice but you can create blu-ray bookshelf soundbar like you see here on a bookshelf underneath you can even have your photos art designs nothing here you don't have a tv you can use the rest of the wall we are just going to use create a bookshelf and underneath will hide our projection screen which is will be a curtain early in the video i showed you and then behind it we will just apply rgb lights and stuff i will draw in this video let's just go to the drawing board for those crazy ideas but before going to the drawing board, some of you might think, hey, why you don't do this in the video and show it to us, right? The reason is I don't need to apply any of this in my setup because I've already made my home studio setup like this is three meter length, huge screen. And this is a 35 meters square room. So it is more than enough huge screen. I'm having professional screen. 65 inch 4K TV and my Xbox. So I don't need anything else. But for you, if you want to go cheap and if you want to go hidden, this could be the way. Maybe I, I would have told this earlier. Maybe I would have applied this. But since I've done the installation, there is no turning back. So I just applied the electri electricity to over there. This is a motorized screen and I installed it. I put the holes to the walls. So if I go from start again it will take too much time and effort the other thing is the view 
quantities of this channel. Since this is a hobby channel for me, I don't get paid. I purchased everything that I do, like the projection screen that I didn't need, and I gave it to my brother as a gift. So right now he has 105 inch screen. And I think the best way to go is for the channel until it grows, some of the ideas will be on the drawing board. But later on, if the channel grows enough to create this content, if uh, we get something from the return, we will create more uh, applied content. But until then, the ideas could be enough for you to apply for your home setup. And after the watching drawing board area, let me know what you think under the comment section below. And if you have other ideas that could be applied or to be told in this kind of channel, let me know what you think. Maybe I will purchase what your idea requires and apply it to my house or my setup. Let's get diving onto the drawing board and see what we come up with. Let's start with the drawing board. This is the second take that I do because it's difficult to draw. Let's start with the meter and a Blu-ray movie. Reason behind it is to know what size is the Blu-ray movies. They are probably around 13 and a half. Let's just call it 14 centimeters of depth. And the height doesn't matter too much, but let's just take a look, 17. But some of the Blu-rays are not the same with the DVDs. Let's go to the DVD side, 13 and a half, and the height is 19. Let's call it 20. So the depth is 14 centimeters. But if you're going to put books on the shelf that we're going to be designing, so you need to be considering 18 centimeters of depth. Depth is about up to you. Height is up to you. Screen size is up to you. In this video, I'll just imagine with you. Just try to focus fixed. Let's just dive in. Yeah, I fixed the focus. So let's just think about it. We create a TV, right? Let's just create a TV here. And we go two times bigger than the TV because let's call it a 50 inch TV, okay? And we create 100 inch of an image. So we got two times bigger than this, like two fingers, two fingers, two fingers here two fingers here. So let's just go like this, two fingers here, we go like this. Our imaginary screen will be like this, okay, when it opens. Let's just go like this, and let's call it 100 inch screen. This is one 100 inch screen, but it's a secret one. How we're going to hide it, it's we're going to create a, some sort of a thick bookshelf like this. On the front will be looking like something thick like this. Okay, it will be 3D, like it will have depth like this. On the side, it will look like a box. Okay, so above it, you can use a couple of items. You can put your books. You can put your DVDs like this, right? Put your books like this, or you can put your soundbar up above like this. This could be a soundbar too. If you connect it with Bluetooth, you only need a power cable. Let's just draw it black. Since this is a soundbar, this will be like this professional soundbar above your bookshelf. So, it can also hold flowers and stuff, but I don't recommend over your TV or any kind of setup. Let's just go what's inside, what's the side design. I will draw some small box, okay? Just start with an idea. From the side, the first design will be, this is a wall, this is a flat wall. This is a wood piece of 18 centimeters, like we talked about, 18 centimeters this is the depth and on the front we will create another same level of thickness wood again and let's just call it 10 centimeters because we want to hide underneath our projection screen roll down curtain since roll down curtains are three fingers of height of mine they are probably around five or six centimeters but for hiding the six centimeters at least it has to be 8 or 10 
Let's go with 10, nothing wrong with 10, right? So we're going to be using a corner corrections, like corner connections for 45 degree angle wood with double screws like this. Or you can just, you know, stick it to them together with the glue. But I will be probably using screws. But you can also use L connections, metal connections, small L metal connections with two screws one like this one like this it's a metal corner so it can handle so you can put as many as you like but i probably recommend one here one here one here and one here like four of them and also it depends on the height and the sorry not the height but the weight of the wood and the things that you want to put on it i will probably recommend l arm a longer one for the wall like this okay it will be like this couple of holes to the wall like two holes to the wall two holes to the upper wood so it will hold the weight of your uh, this setup of bookshelf and probably the arms that you need to apply again like four one two three four each edge has uh, two arms and then you apply another here another in the middle so you don't want to bend it in the middle so you need to install four arms four arms l shape okay and then it's not finished we will cover this area with same size of wood like this piece is 18 to 10 centimeters wood to here to cover up so we will be having some sort of a shape like this when you take a look on the from the side it will be look like this this is a wall this will be our shelf but underneath since you applied some corner like this or anything like this you will be hanging your roll down curtain so it will be underneath and you can roll it down whenever you like and you can hide this chain around here somewhere with an hanger if you apply just a small piece of hook screw down or above like side whatever you want to do it you just roll the chain and hang it around like this and you also hide the chain of the curtain so this is a straight kind of setup. Like you don't have anything to hold the books on the side, anything to hold anything. So if you want to just go too slick, you can do it like this. On the side, it will be just looking from the wall like a box. That's it. This is a side visual. It will be like this. Okay. But if you're gonna, if you want to make it like extra complicated and also functional, I will prefer something like this. This is the wall. Let's just put the wall at a little thicker this time. This is the wall, okay? This is the wall. And we'll be hanging again an 18 centimeters of piece. 18 centimeters of piece. But this time the front will not be flat. This time I will go 10 centimeters below from here. And also five centimeters above from the ground point. So it is probably 15 centimeters. So in that way, I will be creating another wall like this and something like this, a little longer. And as you can see, since this is a wall, I have some sort of a depth behind it. So this will keep our books or DVDs or Blu-rays from falling. And the side of them, we will close with the same length of 15 centimeters. We will close all of it. You're not going to be seeing this area. Okay? This will be in the middle. Or not in the middle, maybe up third, we can call it. So we will create some sort of 5 centimeters of depth. Keep the Blu-rays or the books inside under the coverage of like this. It will hold the Blu-rays, hold the books inside, hold whatever you want to do it. But the downside of this, if you put your soundbar underneath, 
If the soundbar remote control is not Bluetooth, it will be affected by your applications. But most of the soundbars, I believe they have a radio frequency a remote control, so they don't need actually see the remote like the infrared ones. But in case that you have that sign of soundbar, this clean flat setup is easier for you. Like you create something like this as a bookshelf, and then you just put your soundbar like this and nothing else or maybe a couple of blu-rays beside it no, no matter what you want to do it but if you don't have the problem of that or if you apply bookshelf kind of speakers and if you don't want them to fall or move around you can use it like this so if you want to create holes for your bookshelf speakers and your cables you can also put a couple of holes and put your cables and no one will see it this way because if you go flat you directly need a hole to put it in but if you don't have uh, if you don't want to put holes on onto this wood up up top shelf uh, so you can create some sort of a wall plug here and then connect here and cover it with the height of your choice and you're still going to keep your books your speaker and whatever you want to call it this way you can create slim slick setup above your tv or any flat surface any flat wall but you probably be wondering why in the earth if i have a flat wall i would like to do such a thing well you could apply some sort of photo albums like create an ambient design you know the asymmetric kind of photos and stuff so you have your family photos, like a couple of photos together inside of a one frame, and then you have like smalls and bigs and stuff. So you create a top, up top shelf like this, and that could be an option to hide them, create a flat wall, and reflect your movie. Other case is like me, keeping your TV, whatever the size is, and above that, create a shelf. And also behind, uh, under the shelf, you can put the rolling Roll, rolling down curtain, roll down curtain, and LED strip here. So you can create also ambient light. So if you want to create a mood for your room, just to create a depth in your room, you can add that too. Like I showed you in my earlier videos, you can use Flip Hue, Govi, or any kind of addressable RGBs that could be applied with a smartphone or a remote control that could create a good uh, studio setup or home cinema setup even behind your tv you can light up behind your tv since this could be your tv option behind the tv you can light up the wall and it could create quite good depth like a philips Hue tv so definitely check these setups and let me know what you think about it and if you want to know more about the furniture stuff i'm not sure to show you in this drawing board but you can apply the corner fixtures like 45 degree let's just go like this to connect two places you can have either something like a let's just go like this 45 degree of setup and for the wood you can just you know put the holes like this two screws the wood and connect it or you can have a butterfly connections they are plastic and they're ready made sold i think they have like a some sort of placement like this and in the middle some sort of a ticker area and also again some sort of hole area like this so you put your screws here and here between these two they have probably around like a something like this you can also adjust these these are corner fixtures many kind of probably uh, fixtures that you can find in any kind of home store or DIY application you can also ask your friends too I think you hope I hope you like this idea I'm sorry about the showing all this to uh, from the drawing board but this could create a very good secret unseen manual nothing to be broken later on since our curtain is will be manual not motorized but you can also apply motorized curtain underneath it will increase the cost and if you trust these arms and they are strong enough 
you can hide a professional projector screen behind it. And the weight of the professional projector screen, they have uh, metal cases, quite differentiates. But if you use strong arms, you can also hide professional projection screen motorized. And you can create same setup with me. And you can also have a shelf. And you don't have to go up top like me because most of the time you project with your eye level. So you can keep it close to your TV like this setup. Don't go too high like me doing. And you don't have to wait the screen to go low because you don't have much more length than like I do from the ceiling. That could be your good option. I think this way, any kind of projection screen and the curtain style could be slick, slim, and hidden. And also, you could have options to put places like this in depth. You can have LED RGB strips to create a good room look. Let me know what you think. I hope this video gave you enough idea. See you in the next video. By the way, if you're wondering which pen the pencil this is, this is a Strix brand Hexagon 0.5 millimeter. <laughs> hope to see you in the next video. Home Cinema and Tech. Bye.